Hi, welcome to this demo for Minimass Macro. I'm going to step through conditions and integer variables and how they work in Minimass Macro to enhance your running macro. So I'll open up this macro file here, which introduces a concept of variables. And uh, first up, I'll show you and explain how these work within Minimass Macro. So here we've got a message prompt um, that brings up a little box that says, basically just says, here the key to start the macro and has the title of percent string percent, which we can define here as whatever we like, uh, like we did in demo. So for those that are unfamiliar with the process of um, variables, they're basically just containers for values. And um, within Minimass Macro, we can have st um, strings, which are words, uh, integers, which are numbers, and also um, um, some random uh, number generation under percent random percent. Okay, so our string variables condition demo, so let's just test that out. So here we see condition demo as our string uh, de is declared as the title. So line two, here we have our first condition which evaluates the existence of the file dmacro text file. If it exists, we then open it with, um, with notepad, so run program dmacro text file. And because notepad is the default text editor, uh, it will open the file on notepad. The file does not exist, as we see here under dmacro. So then, uh, if it does not exist, else, the action, and we create the file. Um, so run via cmd, which is basically um, via the command line, um, to echo, uh, create a blank file, and then open it in, in notepad. We then wait one second, just so when the file is opened, um, it has focus, and it is, it is presented to the screen. We then run a condition based on the current running processes of the of the uh, the system, and we look for the Notepad process. If it exists, then we know that Notepad is open, and we select the window by name textfile.txt uh, hyphen Notepad, which is the default um, title of of the window Notepad name. Uh, if it does not exist, if the process does not exist, we then go back to line two via the run action command. So after we have selected the window by its name, we then key press into the file the value of percent integer percent, which at this time is zero. We then save the file with, with control S. Um, we then alt F and X to close and exit the file. So line nine, we have a, um, a statement that evaluates the contents, sorry, the value of percent integer percent. If the value is less than or equal to five, we then increment the value of the integer plot by one. If it is not less than or equal to five, then we just ignore this line. So here we have another another condition statement which, which evaluates the, the value of percent integer percent. If it's less than six, we then go to line two. So this essentially here has a looping effect. Um, only when the macro is not less than six do we continue to the message prompt. And finally, uh, for line 12, um, we minus 6 to the value of percent integer percent, which will reset the value back to 0. Okay, so the best way to show this is just to, just to run through it now. So here we are, this first line is um, coming up here, and we get that prompt to start the macro. Click OK. Of course, the file did not exist. We open that command line um, action, and we open, I'm sorry, and we create the file. We then add the values into the text file. And once we get to six, we then uh, get presented with another message prompt. Say so the value is six. Okay. We see here our value is now six. And the final line, minus six, we go back to zero. So let's say I want to add a line here. So if the value is, is um, six or greater to delete this text file. So I'll show you how to do this. First, we'll add a condition in here. So we'll say if, so we'll start from the start, we'll do the whole condition. So if integer variable, say integer, less than six, go to macro line two, else I want to run the action to delete the file. File.txt. Okay, and we'll delete that line there. 
actually, um, what we'll do is we'll say add that to a variable. Macro tech file dot txt, and we'll change that to be the value of percent one percent. Okay, cool. So to speed things up a bit, I'll set that three, and we'll start. Okay, so three. I'll step through to four and five, and when it gets to the value of six. And delete the file, which it didn't. Okay, so I hope that's explained uh, to you the concept of um, conditions within your macro and how you can use them to enhance um, your running macros.